Hey, how are you going? Today we are going to have a look at how we can do fill commands in Minecraft Education Edition. Alrighty, now before we start with fill commands, there's something that we need to understand first and that is coordinates. So understanding exactly where you are or where you are basically standing or flying in the world. So you can see up in the top left hand corner of my screen, it says position. Now to turn this on, we go to escape and we go to settings. And when we are in settings here, if we keep scrolling down, we want to turn this one here on. So world um, options, we're looking for show coordinates. Okay, so that, you know, coordinates, position, same thing. That would mean that it's off. This one means that it on, is on and that will appear just above your little avatar in the top left hand corner there. And you can see that as I move, that that position is changing. So this number here is getting greater or smaller. And if I turn this way, we will see that the number on the end is changing. And if I fall, that number is decreasing. If I jump, it goes up by one because I'm jumping up the equivalent of one block in height. So what do they all mean? <clears throat> they all have um, a letter assigned to them and that is X, Y, and Z. And to explain this, I'm actually gonna jump to this diagram here. So what we have is basically like in any world, we have north, um, east, south, and west. Now, because north to south sits on the same line, so if I'm, you know, I'm either walking in the north direction or the south direction, okay, we call that our Z coordinate, and I'm either facing or walking east to west, so that is our X. So our X and our Z are kind of our forwards and backwards, type areas and then the one that we saw in the middle where we, we were jumping up and seeing it going up by one we call that our y coordinate so they all represent um, your position that you are standing in the world so if we jump back to our world here what we're going to do today is look at a basic you know a really basic fill command and Quite often you might see this because I might want to very quickly build something. So I might want to very quickly build something like a road or a bridge. So let's take um, let's take that for example. So what I'm going to do is going to hit E for inventory and make a start. We'll build something like a, you know a step, you know something like a bridge where we're going to walk up to it. So I'm going to grab a, a brick block here, and I'm going to start placing a couple of them down. And we're going to step up to the platform, get rid of that one. Wonderful. So I'm up a little bit higher. I'm not going to go much higher for the purpose of this, but the idea is that I can step up to this point and then I want the bridge to continue. Okay. <clears throat> so what I need to do is I need to work out my coordinates. So where I'm going to start and where I'm going to finish. All right. What I normally find it easier to do is that if I want it to expand out from this point is that I will determine where it is that I want to stand, where I want it to start. So I'm going to place one here and just stand on it, okay? Because this is where I want, this is the level that I'm at, okay? So at the moment I'm sitting, if I sit on the white brick, I'm at 33. So see in the, our coordinate position there, that's 33. If I step up one, it goes to 34. If I step up another, it goes to 35. So this is exactly where I want the bridge to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that coordinate down that is on the screen. So and you do have to, unless you have an incredible memory, you do have to write these down. So I'm literally writing them down on pen and paper. So that's my start coordinate. So that's where I want the field to start, but you must tell, um, the the game or um, Minecraft where you want it to end. Now, if I just wanted to fill it, you know, over here to this side, let's just, oops, let's just say I put that there. I wanted to fill over there. That would be my new command. So what's really changed here, if I just fill this out, is what we're seeing is changing is the very last coordinate, which is our Z coordinate. Okay, so it's changed from 12 over 
to 13, uh, 16. Okay, so I know that that is how wide I am going to want it to be. So it's going to want to come out 16. So what I'm going to do is I normally write them underneath and I'm going to show you what I've done in a second. So let's see if we can see that. Wonderful. So 16 is our Z coordinate. So that's how far I wanted to come out on our Z axis. But the one thing I know that's going to stay the same is the height of the bridge. The bridge is going to stay straight and continue along. So the height, which is the Y, which is the middle one, is going to be 34. So looking back, there we go. So 34 and 16, I know those two are perfect. The very last one I'm missing is the X. It's how long do I want this bridge to be? And that is really up to me. So I can jump, oops, I can jump down here and just walk until I'm happy. Let's stop here. Okay, and so I'm reading it for the very first one, so the Z, so looking at my position in the top left-hand corner, it's 206. So I have my coordinates now. They are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand out here. I'm going to stand out of the way. And I also want to put myself in a position that we can see it happening. What I'm going to do is we need to go to our chat or our command. So we hit in enter. And like all commands, we must start with a forward slash. So down the bottom, forward slash. And then we type the word fill. Now, what you'll start to notice is that when you start doing chat commands is that the kind of the light gray space starts to give you what your options are and starts to tell you what you need to fill in. So it's telling me here, so space bar, and then it says, where do you want this to start from? So we know that I want it to start from 178 and then we just go space 34, 12. Okay, that was our very first starting position. Then there's a space. Okay, you don't need to put those bracket things in. And then it says, where do you want it to end? And I want it to end at 206, 34, because it's the same height. And it's going to go, in this case, you know, it's 16 wide, I guess is the nice way to think of it. Space. And then it says to me, what blocks do you want? Okay, now they will all come up. Okay, and you do kind of need to know your block. So I do suggest that you look through your inventory first to work out what it is that you want to use and check what the name is. But I know that this is a brick block. So there it is, brick. And it must be exactly what you see on the screen. So you can't just stop there. So see at the very top, it says brick block on the list. So I still need to keep going underscore block or you can also hit tab and that will take you through it. And in this case, I actually don't need to go um, any further because I'm just doing a basic fill command. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit enter and we're going to see that on the screen that that instantly filled. Okay. That means, you know, I can, I can come over here and I can look to um, finish it off. I can't remember exactly how the other side worked, but I've got my basic little bridge here, which I've done with my nice, simple little fill command. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions, pop, pop them in the comment section. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we will see you again next time. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.